Hi there, my name's Zoe Hurst, I'm one of the doctors. Can I just check your name and date of birth, please? Yes, Alison Boone, 25th of August, 83. Okay, how would you like to be addressed today? Alison. Alison's okay? Okay. So what I'd like to do today, Alison, is examine one of the glands that sits in your neck just here, um, called the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. So what's that involve me doing, just having a general look at you first of all, having a look at your hands, your face, a look at your neck, and then if it's okay with you, just coming behind you, having a little feel of your neck as well, and trying to feel the thyroid gland, is that mm -hmm. okay? Great. Are you in any pain at all at the no, moment? You're quite comfortable? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just start just having a general look at Alison. She does look comfortable at rest, not particularly agitated or uncomfortable. Normal body habitus, dressed appropriately for the work of today, so that's fine. Can I just have a look at your hands first? Is that okay? So just feeling Alison's hands. Don't feel particularly hot or sweaty, clammy at all. It's okay. Look at your nails as well. It's fine. Just put your fingers together for me like that. Let's do that. It's a little obvious sign of thyroid cheek, that's great. Just rest your hands right out like that for me. No obvious tremor, that's great. Okay, just have a feel your pulse as well. So I'm just going to feel the rate and the rhythm particularly, making sure that you're not tachycardic or bradycardic, and um, particularly arrhythmias such as atrial fibrillation might be associated with hyperthyroidism. Okay. Um, right, so just have a general look at your face, okay? Um, so Alison's face looks normal, normal pallor and colour, um, no abnormal hair loss or dryness. Um, and have a look at your eyes as well, okay? So just look straight ahead of me. So eyes look fine, you can't see any sclera above and below um, the iris. It's fine, there's no periorbital edema, conjunctival injections. I'm just going to get up and have a look from your eyes from the side as well, okay? That's great. Just looking for any obvious exothermus. If I was concerned or I wasn't sure, I could just come around behind Alison's head. Just tilt your head back a little bit for me. Just having a look over that level of the super auto ridge to see if the eye protrudes past that. That's fine. Okay. Just want to test the movements in your eye now. Okay. So just look straight ahead of me for, for a moment. And what I'd like you to do is follow my finger with mm -hmm. your eyes. Have you got any double vision at all at the moment? Yeah. No. So if you follow my finger and just let me know if you're getting double vision at any point. Is that all okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. That's fine. Okay. Just going to look at your eyelids now. Okay. So again, um, just look straight ahead for me and just follow my finger with your eyes again. No obvious lid lag there. That's great. Okay, just have a look at your neck and your shoulders. So there's no obvious lumps or bumps or masses. No scars, just have a little bit closer, make sure I'm not missing any scars at all. The surgery, that's fine. If I was concerned there was a lump there, I wanted to accentuate a lump, I might just ask you just to take a glass of water for me. Just take some water into your mouth and mm -hmm. swallow it when I ask you to. That's great, have a swallow. That's great, or if I was trying to distinguish it between a thyroid mass or a thyroglossal cyst, I might ask you just to stick your tongue out for me, if you can. That's great. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is have a feel of your neck, so I'm just going to come by behind you to do that, is that okay? Yeah. Is there any pain at all at the moment? No. no. I'm just going to start by feeling generally the lymph nodes in your neck, okay? So I'm just going to do a brief lymph node examination. Is it mental? Is it mandibular? Just turn your head to the right for me. That's great. And to the left again. That's fine. Okay, just up the posterior. And occipital as well. Okay. So I'm just going to have a feel of your thyroid mm -hmm. gland again now for me. So I'm just going to start with my three fingers in the top of your neck. Just really feel the laryngeal prominence. Bring my fingers a little bit further down to cricoid ring. Just further down to where I'd expect the thyroid gland to be. Let me know if it gets too uncomfortable. Okay. It does feel a bit uncomfy sometimes. Okay, so just feeling centrally first, and I'm going to feel over to the right side as well, feeling for the right lobe of the thyroid. And if I feel any masses or lumps, just be careful just to describe them properly. If it feels nodular or irregular. Can I get my fingers underneath any mass particularly? Yeah all the way around it, if it's tender or painful, unilaterally or bilaterally swollen, but that all feels fine at the moment. Okay, and if I had any concern about 
um, there being a lump, I could also just check if it really does move on swallowing with my fingers there as well, that's fine. If I was concerned that I couldn't get underneath the lump with my hands, I might also just because the chest check for any retrosternal um, uh, extension of a mass. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to have a little listen to your neck as well. Okay. Okay, so there's no obvious thyroid brewery there. Okay, so finally what I'd like you to do is just put your arms across your chest for me. Are you able to stand up and get out of the chair without using your hands? That's great. And while you're up, do you mind just popping around, kneeling on the chair so I can test your ankle reflexes? Mm -hmm. You can let your arms go down now as well. That's great. It's just nice and relaxed for me. again for me. Just quickly just check your legs here for any sign of any pre-tibial myxedema. But that's absolutely fine. Okay, so that concludes our examination. If I had any concerns about any suspicious features, then obviously I'd want to be referring under a two-week wait. Um, otherwise, um, according to the history and the examination findings, I'd be thinking about doing some directed thyroid function tests. Um, and possibly thinking about an ultrasound scan to get a better idea of what a lump or bump might actually be.